Michael Jordan, Tinker Hatfield, in the front of Soul Collector magazine, came out in 2008. Tinker Hatfield is the guy that designed most of the baddest Jordan shoes. You know what I'm saying? And he was the reason for the one that was re-released today, September the 10th, 2022, that came out back came out first back in 1988. I was only 15 years old, wanted the shoe, couldn't get the shoe. Back then the shoes was $100. My mom wasn't paying that for these shoes. You know what I'm saying? So, but back then it was so nostalgic because I was a Michael Jordan fan. I remember Michael Jordan playing, wanted the shoes, couldn't get them. They was rare that you know, kids had them at that time. You know, most kids that had them joints then was smart ass kids that made shit good grades, and I was nowhere near that. But it wasn't like how it is now to where joints come out every two, three weeks, and you got them from grade school to preschool to fucking every size it is. You know, joints didn't come out at that time in 88 in preschools and grade schools and all that shit. That came later on as the hype started to develop a little more for the joys but yeah today is a day for me man that means a lot because this is one of the shoes i fell in love with and i'm finally able to get the shoe after all these years so it's the jordan three fire red and like i said this is book it's kind of a book of different shoes that Hatf uh, Tinker Hatfield have designed for uh, for Mike, and gives you a lot of um, insight on what he was thinking at the time that he made the shoes, and a lot of people look at this book as one of the shit almost Jordan type like Bibles almost as of the Jordan the Jordan sneakers you know what I'm saying so I've had this book since it came out and it's still in pretty good condition there it go right there as you see it came the first shoe came out in 1988 like I said the fire red and the shoe that came out today is back in that that style from then. Like I said, retro after then. You know, the first retro was in 2007. Then I think it retroed again in 2013. But it wasn't off the 88 version. This one is off the 88 version. And... That's why it's kind of, well, that's why it's a lot special to me because I wasn't able to get the shoe being a fan of Michael Jordan. Because, like I said, most kids that was getting this shoe were smart kids and, you know, a lot of them were A honor roll students and shit like that and I was nowhere near that. My mama wasn't paying that kind of money at that time for no fucking sneakers you know what i'm saying but that's them fire red threes off of the version from 1988 which as you see the big thing is this toe box as it's pointing downward a lot of the ones that came later had a curl in the toe as in a, a slight a slight turn in the toe box so this is off the original version to where it's down sloped. And the only time I had a chance to get a pair similar to this was the Jordan Denim 3s, which they are similar to this. To me, they're close. They're close to these. Um, but those are, those are the ones I probably keep wearing because I finally broke those out this year after having them for uh, a couple of years. Uh, Cause I probably 
keep these in the box, man. I probably won't even wear these because it just means so much to me. Um, but these are them in a nutshell, man. The Jordan 3 Fire Reds that was released today, September the 10th, 2022.